All right, let's put the line back in. See if this takes a bit longer than the last time. It took about five seconds. The moment I put it in, it was almost, oh, it's got a bite straight away. I kid you not, I put that in and like instantly it had a bite. I said blackfish feed better after dark. They couldn't possibly feed any better than this. Look, straight away. Got him. A little one. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Another lovely little blackfish. You'll notice I've used a slightly bigger hook this time to prevent, to, to prevent a, uh, the same thing happening that happened before. Swallowing the hook. There you go, buddy. Off he goes. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Two in about a minute. Right, I'm going to put the uh, same worm back in and see if that makes any difference. Straight away. Got him. Oh, I lost him. God, they must be stacked up down there. <laughs> I might just hold the rod this time. The moment it touches the bottom, it gets a bite. The moment it hit the bottom, twice. Here he goes. Got him. <laughs> oh, folks, somebody asked me the other day if I could make a blackfish fishing video. I didn't realise it was going to be so easy. A lovely little blackfish. Look at that. You little ripper. Wow. I'm going to get a quick photo with this one. There we go, unhook him. Gadopsis marmoratus. It's two different types of freshwater blackfish in. Oh, oops. He's back. He's in. Trying to balance the uh, balance the camera. There's two different types of freshwater blackfish here in northeast Victoria. There is Gadopsis marmoratus, which is the common blackfish, which I think that one was, and Gadopsis bispinosus, which is the two spined blackfish. To be quite honest, I can't tell them apart. I believe, here we go, oh I missed him, I believe the two-spined blackfish is less common. I can't believe how many bites I'm getting. I've just caught three blackfish in like about, not even 20 seconds of fishing. Here we go, got him. Make that four. <laughs> you know, people say that blackfish can't coexist with trout. I caught, I've caught a lot of trout in this stream and I've caught them here recently too. And uh, it doesn't look like I'm appearing, doesn't appear that I'm having too much trouble catching blackfish now, and it's not even dark. There you go, another little blackfish. Blackfish are actually a perch. They're a species of perch, did you know that? They're a very interesting fish, the blackfish. I've caught all but the first fish, because I broke the hook. The rest of these, these blackfish have all came, all come on the one worm. Just think, I've just caught four blackfish here in probably about 20 or 30 seconds worth of fishing in one hole. There's another hole just like this, just down there around the corner. Then another one's a bite, another one just around the corner from that. There are dozens of holes just like this in this creek. Imagine how many blackfish are in here. People tell you that the, uh, the blackfish don't exist with trout. I tell you when blackfish don't exist in silted waterways, waterways with poor habitat, poor vegetation. Here we go. Got him. Oh, I lost him. He was tiny, that one. The first one was the biggest one. Blackfish like... Blackfish like a... Uh, they like rocks. They need rocks. They need good habitat. They lay their eggs, their sticky eggs, on rocks. Now, if you haven't got rocks, then they can't spawn successfully. So, yeah, sure, go ahead and blame the trout for the decline in blackfish in some waterways. But in all honesty, it's more likely to be the... Uh, it's more likely to be the habitat, siltation, than what it is rocks, than what it is trout. I'm getting a nibble here. Got him. <laughs> and that's at five. Five tiny little freshwater blackfish. They're actually very healthy looking blackfish too. Ooh. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little native fish. They're not actually targeted by a lot of anglers. They're hard to throw back because they're so slippery. I've caught these all on the same worm. How well am I going? Nearly due for a worm change. <laughs> I wonder if a bigger one will come out after dark. This is epic. Yeah, as I was saying, trout, they may be a little bit detrimental to blackfish, but provided you've got good habitat, like we have in this stream, the trout really don't impact the blackfish too much. Got him. Number six. Number six. He swallowed the hook as well, so I'm going to have to change the worms. Rightio. Beautiful fish. Rightio, I'm going to have to stop filming, cut this, uh, this bit of uncut footage and put on another hook. <laughs> I'm having a blast. I've just caught half a dozen blackfish just like that. I just finished telling you how they bite best after dark and bang, I'm catching so many of them and the sun hasn't even set. Wow. Makes you wonder how many are actually in this stream. 